Okay, we're back on the world map. I don't like this world map here. This is... I don't like this world map here. It's not like the one in three where you had some measure, or even two, or maybe, I guess, even one. I don't know. Where you had, um... Where you had some freedom of movement over the environment, and you can get in and out of things. Okay, I guess this is just a kind of like a random encounter. In three, these environments always had some kind of like a treasure chest. Oh, battle. Some kind of an item that you could pick up just for like going into this area. Alright, so. Let's get this fight over with. Okay, so his attack power is higher like I expected him to be. Let's, uh, let's check. Oh, you know what? She's actually four levels over him. She's level five, he's level one. That's kind of like a... Oh, it helps me see the environment a little bit. It's typical that... Well, I mean, like, in three and two, you had Nina acquired as a character later on in the game. So, she... He's already using the sword. Oh, shit. Uh... You're, you had Nina acquired earlier in the game. Oh, jeez. I'm press, pressing the wrong buttons. So, when you picked her up, she was like level 1 in 3, I think. And she was probably a little higher than that in, um... In 2. I am... I don't know how to navigate these menus yet. Okay, power 19, defense 18, 22, and 26. 19, 18, 22, and 26, compared to 22, 14, 4, and 7. So his power is a little bit higher than hers. Her defense is higher than his. Her agility is way higher than his, and her wisdom is way higher than his. Now, of course, he's level 1 and she's level 5, so her stats are going to end up being higher. Uh, HP 230 compared to 301. And... Okay, and AP is 21 compared to 6. I don't know what CP means. Okay, so... This is probably going to fall right in line with what I typically expect of these characters. Um, Nina is going to end up being a casting character with low defense. Uh, she has wind magic and... Oh, and she has healing magic. Okay, so in 2 and 3, she was strictly an attacker. Here she is like a hybrid character. She can heal and she can attack with magic. And Ryu's got jack shit. It's also level one, so maybe he'll get something in the future. So, okay. Uh, battle order. Oh, you know, I got front and back. Uh, I can't, I can't put anybody in the back. Okay. Yeah, she's gonna end up being like a casting character. Is my treasure chest panacea? Okay. Anything else in this area? Just more fights. Well, let's uh up oh, up a new type of enemy. Let's uh oh, it's a mage goo. Okay, so it's probably got a little bit of better attack power. Let's use, uh, Sever. That's a weird name for a wind attack. Oh, nice damage there, Nina. In Breath of Fire 3, the problem with Nina was that her attack power was pathetic, her defense was very low, her HP was on the low side. Oh, that defaults back to the magic attack. Huh. And although her magic could be useful, it was also limited in that it oftentimes just didn't land a good hit. Especially against bosses. I don't remember it really working that well against bosses. Okay, so he's gained a level. So let's take a take a check on their stats. 
Oh, she's still... Damn it! <laughs> I, I don't know why I'm fumbling with this menu so much. This is driving me nuts. Hey, look at that. I don't even have to go all the way in to reference it. Okay, yeah, you see with his gaining a level, he's closing the gap. Well, he put a better lead in terms of power. Still not that much better, but he's closing the gap in defense, and he's always going to end up being slower than Nina. And his magic is always going to be way lower. He's not going to be a casting character. If he does have some magic abilities, it's not going to be that much. In Breath of Fire 3, he was sort of like your default healer, which was weird. Your main character, which is like a typically a damage dealer, is a healer. Up, oh, another fight. Ah, it's just one of these. Kill it. Kill it quick. Okay, he's gonna let gain levels fast compared to her, at least at the beginning. Alright, that's not where I need to be. Uh, I went to skip over this fight, but it turns out this thing is uh, its a new type of enemy. Some these ducks are usually quite peaceful and rarely attack. Why is it attacking now? <laughs> Kill it. Is that a duck? It doesn't look like a duck to me. thing had no, um, no health to it or no experience to it. Oh, I can switch the lead. Alright. Oh, and he's got the sword attack. Cut the brush. Oh, you can't do that here. You could do that in three. I don't have a... Oh, yeah, it says 90% at the top. 90 degrees at the top. I can't maneuver the camera as much around in this map as I could before. Okay, Ryu gained another level. So we can see... How did I bring that? Okay, there you go. Yeah, he's still two levels under her, but he's only one point in defense lower. And I'm pretty sure she's actually carrying better equipment than he is. Yeah, he's got... What is this? Four and two. What That one other... Oh, shit. I unequipped it. And I think this one was five and two. So, equalizing that out. Oh, and she's got this thing here, the hairband. So, her defense base anyway is lower than his already so yeah it's sort of like the typical casting character how do I get to that typical casting character she's gonna have low defense huh. yep yeah, that's where I need to go ammonia that's for resurrecting characters that have fallen in battle uh, I wish I had a little bit more fine control over the camera position here. Break that fourth wall. Oh my god, look at that jumping animation. <laughs> oh, I have control here.
Okay. So she can fly. She... Okay, her ability... She... Okay. Okay, I can't do it here. Okay, maybe I can, but she can't have anything over her head, or she can't be too close to the wall, or something like that. I wonder what the storyline explanation for, or the storyline, like, capability of flying that she has is. Because I can press a button and she can fly in the air, but I can't move her around. Obviously, for the sake of gameplay, you can't have her be able to have, like, perfect free movement around the map in the air, because it would make traversal of the environment way too easy. And then she would also leave the other characters behind. But she also, she couldn't fly out of that hole. So, maybe she legitimately can't just fly around. Maybe she can just go up and down. She survived that fall pretty easily, though. <laughs> Ryu jumped down to try and save her. It turned out to be unnecessary.